Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at quadratic equations and inequalities. Particularly we're looking at simultaneous equations, okay? So we're going straight into... We're not going to do the one dealing with... Not dealing with the one with graphs. So uh, this is simultaneous equations. This is the examples for. Um, this is examples. For exercise um, 2.15. And this is on page. Just check which page is 2.15 on. Page 15. Now 2.14 deals with simultaneous equations with graphs. However, we did that in grade 9 and grade 10. Okay? So solving simultane um, equations simultaneously requires to find values for variables, variables unknowns, that satisfy all the equations at the same time. So normally we've done it out this before. When we have two equations and we're going to work out the point of contact or something like that. Okay? Remember there was two ways of solving simultaneous equations. What are the two ways? Elimination, Elimination and substitution. substitution. Now the nature of these equations, one is normally quadratic and the other one is linear. Okay? So in this case, we can't do the elimination method here. We can only do elimination method if it's straight linear equations. Okay? In the, in the hyperbolic format, you can't do it either. This is the, the elimination method. Okay? Or well, very seldom you can do it in that, in that um, case. But here we told in this chapter we, uh, we will deal with simultaneous equations where, the, where one equation is linear and the other one is quadratic, exactly what I just said now. The linear equation is an equation where the highest power of the variable is 1 and the quadratic equation is when the highest power is 2. So now we're going into the first example. The first example is on page 48, huh? 49. 49. Oh, so that's supposed to be page 50. Okay. People, this, is, this normally comes in uh, question one in the grade 12 exam for a minimum of six marks. So it's easy marks, okay? But then again, you guys are going to say all the marks in maths is easy. Right? The question says solve the following equation simultaneously. What does simultaneously mean? At the same time. So we've got two equations. We've got y minus x is equal to 2, and we've got x squared plus xy is equal to y squared minus 4. Right, so when we start, we start off by labeling the first equation and the second equation. Remember we did this last year as well. Correct? Dalton, that's it. What are you busy with? The scope for what? For the maths exam. Huh? So give me the scope. The maths exam scope. Come on, man. You guys don't do any maths, you don't know why. Because you're not taking note. Okay, so what do we do? We either make x or y the subject of the form. Okay. Or am I moving too slow for your liking? You want me to move faster? Okay, I'll try and move a bit faster. Okay. So, either you make equation 1 or equation 2, one of the two, the subject of the formula. Okay. So, if you look at equation 2, yes, quadratics here. So, you, you, to make x the subject of the formula is going to be a bit difficult. Or oh, why? However, in equation 1, I can just make 
y the subject of the formula by taking that over. Not so. So that's going to give you um, x plus 2. This is from equation 1. Okay. So what we do now is we substitute as we did before. And this now becomes equation 3. We'll substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So wherever we see a y in equation 2, we replace it with so there's a y, it's going to be replaced with x plus 2. And there's a y squared, so it's going to be x plus 2 squared. Not so. So let's go. So we have x squared plus x into x plus 2 equals x plus 2 all squared minus so what does that now become? Quadratic equation, not so. So let's get rid of the brackets here and apply the binomial square. So let's go together, what do we get? x squared plus x times x plus 2 times x equals. Square the first term. I get x squared. First term times second term times 2. So 2 times x times 2, 4x. 2 squared, 4 minus. So what do we do now? Take everything to the left hand side. You can either go left hand side or right hand side. Doesn't matter. I'm going to take it to the left hand side. Okay. So what do we get? x squared plus x squared plus 2x minus x squared minus 4x and that cancels. We can say minus 4 plus 4. Huh? Now what do we do? Cancel x squared with x squared. So I'm left with x squared. What is 2x minus 4x? Equals? So how do we solve x now? Common factor of? Before I move on, if you guys have taken everything to the right hand side, then on the right hand side you would have had minus x squared plus 2x equals 0. You see that? Then you're going to take out negative x as a common factor. It would have given you the same answer in essence. So what do we do now? We say x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 2 there's no restriction when do we have a restriction? fractions, algebraic fractions ok but have I answered the question fully the question was to solve for x and y so we need to solve for y now so y is equal to x plus 2. So it's going to be 0 plus 2, which is 2. Or on the other end, we've got y is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. So what we can do is we can test it, okay? Let's go with the first set. If x is 2, so these two goes together, no? If x is 2, y, uh, sorry, if x is 0, y is 2. So we can go here with equation 1. Okay, that's the different equation. Let's check equation 2. If x is 0, this will be 0. 0, not so. So 0 on the left hand side. And y was 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. And there it works. Can you see that, people? You, can, uh, you, can subs you could have substituted 2 and 4. Okay, if I go with 2 and 4, it's simply going to be 2 squared, which is 4 plus. 2 times 4, which is 8, uh, which is 12, not so. That is 4 squared minus 4, which is 16 minus 4. And 16 minus 4 is 12. Can you see that, people? We always tested on the other equation, the one we did with that we didn't get the final solution. Okay? So if this was 
12 and this was 18. Then what does that mean? I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, and then I had to redo it and check. Afterwards, we have made that mistake. Okay, you guys understand? But you don't have to check. I'm just showing you that it actually works. Okay. So do you have to write from equation one? Yeah, that, that you don't have to write this underlined version here. Yeah? You always see me use arrows. And uh, there's no mark actually allocated for that. Okay. We were looking at equation two. Equation two is on page, or example two, sorry. It's on page 49. So the question is, solve the following equation simultaneously. Again, simultaneously means at the same time. Right, so we got y is equal to 2x minus 1, and this is equation 1. And then we got xy is equal to 10, which is equation 2. Again, did we have to write that? No. Okay. So what did we do in the previous sum? We made x or y the subject of the formula. But what do we notice? We already have y as a subject of the formula. So do I have to make x a subject of the formula? No. no. You guys understand? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So if I see a y, I put a? 2x minus 1. So what do I have? x into 2x minus 1 is equal to? So can I now say x equal to 10 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 10? No. no. It only works when there's a? Zero. zero. So what must I do now? Remove the brackets. And then I bring the 10 over. Why? Because it becomes a? quadratic equation. So what's x times 2x? 2x squared. What's x times negative 1? Minus x. Minus 10 is equal to? So now, now I, can need, I need to solve for x here. Not so. Now I have two ways of solving for x. What are the two ways? What are the two ways? Trinomial? Yes. So the factors are 1 and 2, 2 and 1, 1 and 10, 2 and 1. We add or subtract our products? Subtract. So it's going to be uh, 20 minus 1 is 19. That's 10 minus 2 is 8. Right? 1 times 5 is 5 and 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Not so. So it's going to be a 1 and a 2. A 2 and a 5. So there's x squared. So there goes an x and an x. What about our signs? Opposite sign. The bigger one must be negative. In other words, x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to 5. What was the other way I could have solved the same sum? Quadratic equation. Remember that we did not too long ago? I say x is equal to, what's the formula? Minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over. There's one thing you guys always get right, so use it if you're messing up here. What's my, what's my a value here? Two. My B value? Negative one. My C value? Negative ten. So it's negative one plus minus the square root of negative one squared minus four. A is two and C is negative ten and it's all over two and my A value is two. So X equal to that's one plus minus the square root of that is one that is eighty one over 4. Of course you could have put that in your calculator already. No? So it's 1 plus minus 9 over 4. So x is equal to 1 plus 9 is 10 and 10 over 4 is 5 over 2. Or the minus 1. So it's 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Gives you an answer. Negative 10. Which is that. You guys understand? But again, what did we say? At this point, we put it in the Calculator, we'll get that out anyway. Okay, we will have said uh, negative, open brackets, negative 1, plus the square root of, open brackets, negative 1 squared, minus 4 times 2 times negative 10, 
and that is over 2 times 2. It gives me 5 over 2, and of course I change that to negative, gives me negative 2. Alright, you guys understand? So either or, again, if you're messing up this factorization here, apply the quadratic equation. I know you guys never get that wrong. So do that. People, have you answered the question? No, what must still be calculated? Why? Why? So I go and substitute this into the equation 1. Why do you think I'm substituting into equation 1? Because we have DDF, Y is the subject of the formula. We have DDF, Y is equal to something. Understand? Not in Billy? It's free. The weekends are good for you guys, eh? So you got Y is equal to 2 multiplied by negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 5. The other end, we got y is equal to 2 into 5 over 2 minus 1, which is? Alright, any confusion there? Right, last one. Sorry? Eight. What? Is this wrong? No. Let's do the last one quickly. Your homework is going to be exercise 2.15 on page 50. You do for me numbers uh, 1 to 10. You do the first 10 sums, okay? Or you want to do the odd numbers rather? Yeah, rather do the odd numbers. Okay. So people, in example 3, which is on page 15. We've got x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. And we've got y squared minus x squared plus 2xy is equal to 2y. Where do we start? Did make one of the two the subject of the formula. So we take both over the equal sign. So from equation one, we have x is equal to 3y minus 2. That is equation 3. People, we could have made y the subject of the formula. But then I'm going to have negative 3y is equal to x uh, minus x plus 2. And then divided by negative 3 is going to go into fractions. There's no problem with that. But some of us aren't so strong in fractions. So if I see an x, I replace it with? What? 3y minus 2. So what do I have? y squared minus 3y minus 2 squared plus 2y into 3y minus 2 equals 2y. So I apply the binomial square, get rid of the bracket. So I get now y squared minus open brackets binomial square. Now, if you don't know the rule of binomial square, what do we do? Write it out twice, multiply it. So it's going to be 3y squared, it's going to give you 9y squared. That times that times 2, it's going to give you negative 12y. Last term squared is positive. People, if you can't do it, don't give yourself brave. Okay? Write it out twice. 2y times 3y, 6y squared. 2y times negative 2 is negative 4y. Minus 2. Y equals 0. Why am I bringing it over? So it's quadratics. Okay. Then this bracket here. So you've got y squared minus 9y squared plus 12y minus 4 plus 6y squared minus 4y minus 2y is equal to 0. Like this. So y squared minus 9y squared is negative 8y squared plus 6y squared is negative 2y squared. 12y minus 4y. 8y minus 2y is 6y. Plus 4 equals, sorry, minus 4 equals 0. So what do I do now? Divide by negative 2. So you get y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. What is this to us? Trinomial, not so. The trinomial. So what do we have? y minus 2. Y minus 1 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 2 or? Now some of you that's going to use the quadratic formula at this point. 
What they do is the formula normally reads x is equal to minus b plus. Then what they do is they, they take an answer and they write x here. Don't make that mistake. It's actually y that you will write here. Yes, my girl. Sorry? She asked why didn't I take a common factor here? Why? Who can tell her? It's an equation. So I can divide throughout. But it was an expression that would be a common factor. Have you answered the question? No. So what do we do? Sub that back into equation 3. And there is equation 3. So what do we have? x is equal to 3 times 2 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So x is equal to 3 times 1 minus 2. Gives you an answer. And of course, you guys get this. Do it works and so. Do you guys understand? Any confusion? Exercise uh, two point fifteen. Hot numbers for tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good morning, class. Sorry for keeping you. Okay. Full lesson can be found in the description box below.